Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So no need to guess where I am. I'm at the beach. So I'm out in the field today and I thought I would film a nice little cracking open ammonites video for you guys. So I've been looking amongst the foreshore and I found quite a few kind of bouldery pebbles with my friend Dr. Kevin Page and we're going to be cracking them open for you guys. So there's a range, some are large, some are small, um, but I'll show you a few. So you can see here's one pebble and you can see there's like this zigzag all around the edge of it and that suggests that there's something in this pebble and it looks like an ammonite so these are the types of pebbles we were looking for and they kind of indicate to us that they're worth cracking open so um i'm just going to jump straight to it and we've got quite a few to crack open today so let's see what we can find here's one kevin cracked open earlier and if i remove the pieces you can see into it so this is what we're trying to achieve with the boulders that will start with boulders, pebbles, I mean, um, in a minute. So you can see that's cracked quite lovely. It's got a center to it. So this is a Harposerus ammonite. And then these are the kind of pebbles that we're gonna crack open for you next. So let's get to it. Here's an amazing block of this incredible limestone. It, it, it's, this, this, this rock is unique in, in Britain. It's what on, on, um, in Europe they call Amanita Grosso. So it's formed really slowly, deposited on the bottom of, of a deep sea, and the fossils got embedded into the rock. And here they are. This one is actually coated by a stromatolite, a sort of algal bacterial growth. This is the only place in Britain you can get this rock, because you'll see this built into like monuments around Venice and other places uh, in Italy with exactly the same sort of fossil. So I can see the edge of this fossil here, and around here. It's very, very thin because erosion has planed it off. So I'm going to see if there's any way I can split around the surface here. This is always a little bit hit and miss. So let's have a go. Well, the rock's Ooh. getting smaller. <laughs> Okay, well, it's not a, a bad a start. start. <laughs> oh, and there's a little one there. There we are, nice little one there. So. That's very sweet. Yeah. And the little ones can be as interesting as, as the big ones because they can be different species, or they that could even be a bit of a male of that big one there. breaking around the edge but it's not actually breaking where I want it to go at the moment but uh, I haven't broken the ammonite in half I was going to say yet, at least so. it hasn't even fractured <laughs> <laughs> so what do I do now mm. it's a bit of a another one I don't think it's the same one. Oh, you think that's a separate one yeah, I think it's a separate one but just a fragment oh it is ever so slightly. So with this ammonite, it's only half, isn't it? One yeah, half has so been eroded. It's even all there, so, so it may even inside be complete completely eroded away. Mm -hmm. But eroded away in the Jurassic. So it's still very cool. Exactly. <laughs> so that means the rock. Oh, oh, oh something's happening, something's happening. Oh it's fractured slightly. Oh it's bro Well it's broken, <laughs> but has it broken where I want it to break? Come on. <laughs> I'll keep that little edge there just in case. Maybe she likes the camera. <laughs> you can do it. Because this is a female. The females are always larger. Yeah. So that's why that first little one Kevin found could have been the male. Oh no. But, oh, but it's pretty. Yes. So it's going to be a jigsaw. Jigsaw. 
but might be a pretty jigsaw. Although the museums don't recommend it, super glue is one of the most useful tools for collecting fossils. It keeps it together. Exactly. Super glue and paraloid, and I think you're yeah. good to go. Paraloid is the best, is, is the one one's supposed to use. So what I'm trying to do is flake away where the ammonite has come off here. I can see the surfaces, so I'm trying to break it down. So then I've got uh, a wider surface to try and break in through there. So what I'm looking out for as well is bits of this which might flake away. So yeah, any weaknesses. Try and Ooh. Well, uh, let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. So I seem to have most of that there. And as you can see, it's around in there like that. So now I have a decision whether to tap this yes. to free it uh, or take it back home. And prep it at home. Now, what I will do, I will split it now because it's uh, and just hope. Oh, look, there's a little piece come off. So I'll stick that on there. So that's probably as much as I dare take off it there, but it shouldn't be too easy back at home to... Too hard, you mean? Just, just too... <laughs> too easy or too hard? Too hard. It, shouldn't, it should be easy. <laughs> there Sorry. <we> go. <laughs> No, I think that's come just, out all right. Um, just to split around there gently with the chisel. Yeah. And just get that other bit out with a gentle tapping. But the problem is if I keep doing it now, uh, I could you just risk. break it up. And at Whereas, least at home, I can I can collect all the no, pieces. No, I think at home that will turn out yeah. very well. So Success. This, so this is a Harpossus falciferum. And we're sitting here at the type of locality. This was the first place on the planet this thing was actually found. Amazing. In the early 19th century. And described by J. Sowerby. How cool is that? Yeah. Fabulous. So when cracking open rocks you want to have eye protection on whether it's glasses, sunglasses or proper goggles just to ensure little flakes don't go in your eyes but uh, I'm gonna try and crack open this little one here. I'm gonna do it without a chisel because it's just a small one but we'll see if it behaves. Ah, it's bouncing on me. I thought the smaller ones would be easier. <laughs> smaller ones can some be some of the more tricky ones. I am learning that. This one doesn't want to come out. Thought this would be a very quick one. <laughs> Yeah, this one is too well wet. Yeah. Yes. It just doesn't want to. <laughs> yes. I think there's anything wah, there. Wah. <laughs> Another cool. one? Yep. Let's see how this one goes. Let's see what happens here. See the edge in there. It's not much of it's left, but. Again, I don't think it's going to really do very much. No, it's just going to break. Yeah. This one, this one is worth it with a chisel. Control it. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a go. So So 
from is happening. Ooh. Yeah, it's moving. Ready? Okay. I just tap that off like that. The weakness is there. The weakness is certainly there. What I don't want to do is stick this chisel yeah. in too far, wiggle it around and destroy it. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. If I took a little bit more off from here. Actually, I'll try a slightly different strategy and go through there. There it is, going around in there, right from the edge of the nodule. Ah. Well, the pebble. It's not too bad. Not too bad. But the Harposterus falciferum. Fabulous. And the falciferum describes the shape of the ribs, which are like sickles. Let's give it a go. Ready? Ooh, ooh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, there we have. Oh, that's nice. The crack. Yeah, oh, perfect. See, that one behaved. It did. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that's the finished result of all the ones we cracked open. So they don't all turn out to be anything, but a few of them worked out quite well. So thank you to Kevin as well for all the hard work. Um, but that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more and hopefully I'll see you next week.